My five-year-old told me he and his friends play Star Wars at school. We separate them into two teams, boys and girls. Except there's one girl on my team. Why? She's the boss. Boys are the workers, girls are the boss. Sooner you learn, the better, I guess. Alright, we're just gonna ignore the uh, casual sexism. Okay. I just watched a guy hit on a girl and she totally ignored him. I just sang the words of the song that was playing and he turned to me and he was like, Woman, huh? And I was like, Drunk dudes, huh? And he said, what? And I said, what? And then we had a staring match. Yeah. Moral of the story? I saved that girl. Yes, that's exactly. That's exactly how you save a girl. Even though he had already turned away from her and was clearly annoyed but was clearly moving on. You definitely, you definitely saved her from that. From that guy that was already knew that he had lost. Good job. Good job, buddy. I was in a restaurant tonight, and this eight-year-old kid is running around selling his artwork like a little hustler. And one of the waitresses is like, Why are you on this side of the restaurant? Your parents are on the other side. And I go, He wants to be on this side with the cool people. He looks me dead in the eyes and says, Shut up! Then pimp slaps me with his coloring book. Everyone dies one day. Everyone. Even wolves. But not books. Not words. Words don't die. My son. Free. He was a lot smarter than I am. The owners unleashed his dog when their house caught fire. They ran out, but the dog went back to save the kit. And that is the unbelievable true story about me making jumping up for Facebook likes. If you need any more reason to think men are trash, yesterday I attended a conference where the attendance was 98% white men. Found out later in the night that I won an award. I was voted most talented in being beautiful. Women in science. Sure that happened. I am 100% sure. Just 250% sure. What is the coolest thing your mum has ever done that you know of? My mum was my college professor in freshman year. No one in my class knew we were mother and daughter and I was coincidentally paired up with the hottest guys in the class for every group project. Lisa is a legend. I bet up a girl and I became 10 times more popular now. I go to school like a badass listening to this with my headphones on. And now every day I go to school and this girl I bet up is looking at me scared. I just give her an insane smile and that's what I repeat. One, nothing is wrong with me. Two, nothing is wrong with me. Three, nothing is wrong with me. Four, nothing is wrong with me. I went insane. I'm awesome. Like if you agree. It would be a lot more, like, believable, um, if you removed all of it and just said, I'm a neckbeard and I hit a girl. Yeah. So this lady in Walmart just can't be looking at her daughter's ass, said to me, Were you just checking it, my daughter's ass? To which I responded, I sure was. She replied, so why do you think? And I said, I'll hit. She then proceeds to give me her daughter's number without the consent of her daughter. I, re I really hope the daughter's of age as well. Like, it's never really specified. When you say daughter, I just think of like a little, like, you know, 12 year old kid. So, boy. There was a new student in my class a couple weeks ago and she needed to wash her hands in the art class. And we have a sink in there. So she asked me, do you know where the sink is? So I panicked because nobody ever talked to me and I accidentally yelled, go away, leave me alone. Oh, sorry, uh, the sink is over there. Then she started singing along and now I have a new best friend. Got my first complaint from a 90 year old Buddhist neighbor. You warned us when you moved in that you play guitar and it might get loud. If it does, we should tell you and you would turn it down. But honestly, you need to turn the fucking thing up. My professor looked at my outfit and said, I don't think it's that weather yet. And I said, it's supposed to be 80 degrees today and it's definitely that weather. And I'm definitely that bitch. The whole class cheered. The professor cried. She said she would give me an A if I never come again. My five-year-old daughter was watching the royal wedding with me. And when Megan and Harry were saying the vows, she turns to me and says, It's so nice to see the royals becoming more diverse and modern, mummy. I hope I can be a princess like her one day and make a difference. So proud. I, I honestly don't even think I know what diverse meant when I was like five years old. I think the worst way I ever left a date was after a guy said, You're cute for being overweight. I accidentally knocked my glass of water on his crotch when I stood up, took a drink from his AMD backwashed, and said, well, hey, my chubby ass is leaving because you're a dick. And the table next to us clapped. 
In Germany, the government has increased fuel prices in just one hour of time. People abandoned their cars in the streets and avenues and walked home. Over a million abandoned cars. They had to lower the price. When the people are smart, the corrupt can't accomplish their goals. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks, you better run, better run, outrun my gun. So, once my principal in middle school said I was the kind of kid to shoot up a school. So I went through the school one day whistling this. I got tackled. I awkwardly and shamefully told my mum I didn't want to try out that blouse she thought would look good on me because it's too frilly and the whole store turned around and clapped. That time I got into the school intercom and used a voice changer app to make my voice sound really deep and demonic and chanted some satanic message. Our super religious teacher got so scared she ran out of the classroom screaming and the principal put the school in lockdown. I was crying in front of the McDonald's near my house eating french fries and listening to some sad playlist in my car and a black guy tapped on my window. It just gave me a life changing advice. It's gonna be okay little, you can do it. You may be wondering why I didn't say the n-word, even though it's not even like the hard ER version, uh, because apparently people get triggered when you quote something. I wish I was joking. What does our fucking world come to? If you're offended by a quote, honestly, you're the worst type of person. One time I was swimming in a spring in Florida and everyone started screaming and getting out of the water and I was like, haha losers, ain't nothing in this water. So I climbed up onto a rock to sit, but then the rock started moving. And that's the story at the time I wrote a manatee. While working past a gay couple, one of the females smiled at me and said hello. I smiled and said hello back. Her bull dyke of a girlfriend didn't like that. Don't talk to that guy, she said to her girlfriend. Her short red boss bitch, real classy. I asked her, who are you the boss of? She replied, her, and pointed to her girlfriend. Her girlfriend didn't like that. You're not my boss. And they got into an argument. And when the girlfriend ended up walking back to me and said, would you like to hang out sometime? I gladly accepted. Her boss bitch stood there, all pissed off, screaming and yelling, be it, racist, homophobe. I laughed and called her a heterophobe. What are you, closet straight? I asked. 30 year old fucking baby. Me and her ex-girlfriend walked off to get some ice cream. Trends are changing. Be ready. I got pulled over by a cop while writing my initial message. He gave me the whole text in his dangerous speech. I was about to give me a ticket. Showed him your profile and explained, I like that girl. He let me off with a warning and said, better get your number. Bitch, am serious. Isn't that like a copy pasta for like, like a pickup copy pasta? That makes sense. So apparently some kid tried dancing with me and he looked like a typical Chad and Brad duo. He didn't get the hint that I didn't want to dance with him. So what do I do? I start screaming, daddy's money and squared up with the dude. That makes zero sense. Just went for a piss while wearing my microphone and the whole conference heard me call the urinal a thirsty boy. Some dude just roasted my song and told me that no girls can rap. Challenged him to a freestyle. Dude choked, then started to tear up. I asked him, why are you crying? And he said he had something in his eye. How can you get something in both eyes at once? You're just mad a girl got better bars than you. Oh my god, so I'm seriously sleep deprived and my mum handed me the phone to talk to some relatives and my grandma came on and I said, oh, I forgot you were still alive. I said that to a person. To my grandma. 11 of my cousin have called me today just to laugh at me because I hate my whole family. My brother just sat my mum down in the living room and started crying and she was getting really worried and he burst out with, I'm pregnant, completely seriously. And my mum started yelling and was like, oh my God, what the fuck? I raised you to be more responsible. And she was literally ranting for about 10 minutes until she realized and quietly walked out of the room. About 76 atheist women are in my inbox begging for phone sex. Lol, what the fuck? How desperate are you? I love the fact that he, he points out atheist. Like, did you ask them all? When we were in seniors, we cooked some meth in the school lab, then we sold some, and the rest we left in the principal's desktop, and we called the police on him. We also took pictures of us naked and copied them into the science teacher's computer and contacted the FBI. It was epic. They're still in jail. Edit. Why the hate? This totally happened the same day I had sex with the most beautiful teacher who also had a <laughs> time professional model. <laughs> I got asked what do you love most about your girlfriend at a Whataburger and my answer was the fact she loved me at my lowest point in my life and it stuck with me ever since. That man shook my hand and asked for an invite to the wedding because that's a totally normal conversation to have at a burger shop. Second flight sitting by a nine year old boy. Boy, so did you say you're a Christian? Me. Yeah, I am. How did you know that, boy? Because smile. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. I prayed to sit by a Christian. That's you. I'd say we're best friends now. 
He really wanted to let his followers know he's Christian Jesus. No pun intended, no pun intended. Today a guy came up to me at the thrift store and was like, Oh my god man, thank you for your service. You must be so brave to have been an officer. What branch of the military were you in? Needless to say, I was super confused, and I asked him why he thought I was in the military. He answered with a, ma'am, your shirt is military, then walked off. I was wearing this Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. shirt. <laughs> I'm crying. Y'all know how AMC theaters have assigned seats? So, this group of like five white girls are sitting next to me. Why this black lady walk up to them with her daughter and said, all right, colonizers get the fuck up i paid for these motherfucking seats i couldn't breathe